feel lonely even when we're in the company of other people. Ken Dolan Del Vecchio is from GreenGateLeadership.com, and he's here to tell us how we can fight the loneliness epidemic. Ken, great to have you back. Great to be with you, Ashley. And I want to start off by saying that much of what I'm going to say today can be elaborated on by looking at a book by Johan Harry. The book is called Lost Connections, and it's a wonderful, wonderful book about the importance of us being in relationship with each other. Perfect. So it's a great resource if people want it's more information. It's a great, great resource. Let's talk about how we are meant to live first. Well, think about our history. We are a tribal species, right? We grew up in, we grew up as a species in tight-knit communities and villages. And even in the history of our society here, we were mostly an agrarian society early on, right? We lived in family, extended family groups. We worked the land. We saw each other every day. That has been lost. Mm -hmm. That has been lost. So since the 1930s, we have become increasingly isolated. And in fact, there was a survey in the early 2000s, I believe it was 2004, that said that while, that found that while in previous decades, if you asked most Americans, how many confidants do you have? How many people who you could share your deepest thoughts with? Decades ago, they would have said, th the answer would have been around three. 2004, none, none. Really? So we are a society that for the most part, we don't have friends. And we real. need right, real, <laughs> real friends. We've got more friends. than ever, according to social yeah, media, right? Yeah, but we need people who mm -hmm. we can talk to and who we can be in the presence of and who we can share our thoughts and fears. And in fact, the research shows that the more isolated we get, because think about it, if we're in a community and we need each other to be safe, to be taken care of, mutually taken care of, and we're alone, how do we feel? We feel anxious, mm -hmm. we feel worried, we, f we feel depressed. Well, if we're in that condition for a while, what starts happening is it becomes the way we are. And then when, when people even do try to approach us, we're a little bit suspicious. We're, right. not, so, we're not so easily approachable. It's uncomfortable. Right, and so it's a very, it's like a, it's like a spiral, it's like a negative spiral. It's terrifying to think it, that what's causing this. So there obviously, you know, we think we don't have family dinners anymore the way that we used to. We, we're online yeah. more often than ever before. Yeah, so, that, so being online is an attempted solution. And in fact, many people, an unfortunately large number of people, move this to the point of being an addiction. I mean, they're online so much mm -hmm. that it replaces real life. And yet, it's never satisfying. It's never satisfying. You know, it's been said that the cure for addiction is not abstinence. The cure for addiction is connection. It's connection. And so there are ways that we can fight this epidemic. There are ways that we can really be mindful of disconnecting from the things that keep us from being connected. It's, it's simple in concept. It couldn't be more simple. We need to be with other people face to face, mm -hmm. whether it's through volunteering or maybe taking a class that's offered in the community or maybe just reaching out to people who we haven't seen in a while and, and offering help to another person. Sometimes we feel like if I'm really lonely, I need, I need from others. Well, giving to others is gonna, is gonna result in that reciprocation. And the research also shows that it's not just about receiving care, it's about that mutuality. It's mm -hmm. about being in it together. So the more we can find ways to be in each other's company in shared activities, <clears throat> one of the saddest things perhaps is the idea, <clears throat> excuse me, mm -hmm. that we can be in a crowd, we can be doing something sort of like parallel play with other people and feel deeply lonely, deeply okay. lonely because we're not really with connected, them. right? We're not connected to them. We're not engaged in an activity. We're we're talking to each other and we're sharing. We're just there, and that still can help us to feel completely you, alone. You did give us some great great ways that we can fight this, obviously, but also to remember that we get so much from giving, and that it's not we're in a society where we think we need more and more and more. But really, the way that we can get more is to give. Thank Absolutely. you so much, Ken. Great to, Great be with to you. have you here. Great advice and a lot to think about and ways we can, can fix it.